Hi everyone, Sean with jazbeescasebreaks.com here doing Jaspie's 12 box weekend football mixer. Pick your team. Where? All sold out straight up. Pick your team, so always good stuff. Um, 19 and 20, so recent years, two mini helmets and one jersey to go. Here's our list of products. We've got Prism in here, we've got Mosaic, and we've got Zenith. So no vet common ship like standard, but nice 12 box mixer here here is our list last spot mojo steven savinsky with my chargers that list over here cool. so we're going to actually start 2019 and then we're going to go to 2020 2019 doesn't have crazy heavy stuff 2020 we've got like a fat pack box cello pack box so just lots of uh you know stuff packaging wise oh i don't doubt that at all joe I don't doubt that at all. Honestly, I welcome the losses at this point. Welcome them. If I could play... Yeah. I want Panay Suell. I want him bad. There we go. Are we in Buffalo? Are we home? I don't even know. Austin Eckler, not going to be back this week, but he's coming back. Who do your Who do your Raiders play, Joe? Your loser Raiders. Who are going to try and try and get wins and still not make the playoffs. Oh, you're Atlanta? Never mind, you'll win. They're garbage. Apologize, Hawks fans. Tom Brady. Uh, he's one of the exceptions to that veterans rule. Uh, that goes to the Patriots, Karen Steele. Taylor Rapp for the Rams. DK Metcalf. Seattle Seahawks. Catherine Tusher. LaShawn McCoy. Green Pulsar. Ooh, there you go. How about Kyler Murray? I hear he's pretty good. Arizona Cardinals. Mitchell, Mitchell Emerson. That's who we're looking for. Clayton Thorson for the Eagles. Yeah, but Joe, the more we suck and the low, less wins we get, we get a we get better draft pick. So there you go. Jay Stern, Sternberger for the Packers. Darnell Savage Jr. for the Packers. Miles Sanders, Eagles. Chris Levin. Travis Homer for the Seahawks, and. Green Pulsar Rookie Auto, Darnell Savage Jr. Packers, Johnny Ho. Marquise Blair, Rookie for the Seahawks. And Gary Jennings Jr. for the Seahawks. That was a nice blaster there. How are the other Chargers draft picks? Are you talking about from this year or previous years? We've actually done really good with drafting. Maybe you know a guy named Derwin James Jr. Hunter Henry was pretty good. Joey Bosa. I don't know. I don't know if you've heard of them, Joe. Maybe you have. Desmond King, who's no longer on our team because he apparently had a problem. 
Oh, yeah? Was Clellan Farrell Chalk Joe? I believe he was the number four overall pick last year for you guys. Playoff, two autographs and memorabilia cards per box on average. Playoffs? Joe likes to say. I'm not deflecting. But, I mean, you, you asked how their other picks were. I just gave you a bunch of them. Playoffs. I'm not. Kenneth Murray. He's very good. I'm trying to think. Drew Tranquil was, was doing really good. He unfortunately got hurt first season, game of the season. Um, Joe Reed and KJ Hill, fifth round, seventh round pick. I have been disappointed by them, but whatever. I mean, the only picks that we don't do well on are our linemen, except for uh, D. Jerry Tillery, he was our first round pick last year. Wasn't very impressed. He looks really good now. Nasir Adderley, second round pick from last year. He didn't have any confidence last year to the point that they didn't even let him like touch the field. Now, the guy's flying around. He's a ball hawk. So, Easton Six, my boy. Uh, yeah, Anthony Lynn will go. I mean, come on. But the rule of thumb, and it's dumb always. Whenever teams do this, I think it's always dumb. You don't fire your head coach until you have a better replacement for him. It's always dumb to see teams fire their coaches in the middle of the season. It's not going to do anything. You think magically your team's going to all of a sudden turn it around with a backup coach? And let's say that they do. Then you end up in the Browns situation where they turned it around after they fired Q, whatever. And then you're like, well, do you keep that guy in there? Or do we bring in another coach? Obviously... Keeping that guy was not the best idea. Harrison Smith to 25. Jarrett Stidham for the Patriots. Clayton Thorson for the Eagles. Patrick Mahomes also is one of the exceptions to that veterans don't ship. Uh, Patrick Mahomes for the Chiefs, Mark Nation, all those go. Thunder and Lightning, Kyler Murray, David Johnson. Cardinals, Mitchell Emerson, another uh, Kyler Murray rookie there, even if it is a parallel. Here's a good rookie for the Raiders, or last year. Josh Jacobs, Las, uh, Las Vegas Raiders of Oakland, of Los Angeles, as Joe likes to say. Uh, that's going to Asa Luke. Fredo de who, though, Joe? Don't even say the Rams. Rams don't have a loyal fan base. That place, those, those people are a joke. <laughs> Sean Alexander to 99. Seahawks. Uh, Catherine Tusher. Bryce Love, Washington. Another Kyler Murray for the Cardinals, Mitchell Emerson. Rookie Wave.
Jalen Ferguson, rookie auto. Baltimore Ravens, Ryan Simarell. Oh, they didn't disavow their city? Huh. They love their fans so much, they keep moving. Sounds like a real loyal team there, Joe. Accolades relic for the Kansas City Chiefs, Tyreek Hill, Mark Nation. Travis Kelsey to 99 for the Chiefs, also going to Mark Nation. And Dwayne Haskins, Washington, Vincent Clemens. Uh, you know what, Matt? We wouldn't do anything with them, anything good with them. That's for sure. Honestly, though, once uh, once the Samuelis and and Artie Moreno get together and they build their joint like development, the sky's the limit. We'll see. Paris Campbell, rookie auto. Indianapolis Colt, Will Comstock. TJ Hawkinson, Detroit Lions, Matt Buckler. Easton Stick to 99. First down, rookie. There you go. Chargers, Steven Savinsky. My boy. Cool. Limited. Two autographs, one memorabilia card per box. Ridley, three color patch and auto. Chicago Bears, Kyle Douche. Yo, Kyle. Nice coloring there. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, Brendan. Only when they let me. Another Darnell Savage Jr. Rookie Auto 61 out of 99 for the Packers. Johnny Ho. Has he started to figure it out or is he kind of still wandering around in the secondary? Devontae Parker to 99 for the Dolphins. Steven Villa. And David Montgomery, Jumbo Relic to 199 for the Bears. Kyle Dooch. Cool. Next up, Obsidian. Four autographs or memorabilia cards. Always one of my favorite looking products. Good old Kenny Rogers. Yeah. You're welcome anytime. Andrew Luck. 112 out of 125. Indianapolis Colts. Will Comstock. Is there parallels in the back? There are. Riley Ridley. Rookie Purple. Going to the Bears. Kyle Dooch. Thirty out of seventy-five. Khalil Mack, orange, also for the Bears and Kyle Dooch. Thirty-five out of fifty. Atomic relic, DeAndre Hopkins. Tex uh, Houston Texans version of DeAndre Hopkins. Matt Medlin. Two out of seventy-five on that. Rookie Otto Jelani Tavai for the Detroit Lions, Matt Buckler. 134 out of 150. Greedy Williams, rookie Otto for the Cleveland Browns, Matt Medlin. Sixty one out of seventy five. There you go for the Browns and Matt. And nice. Rookie patch auto, Nick Bosa. For the San Francisco 49ers, Catherine Tusher. This is a red. What's red numbered out of? Hopefully really low. 67 out of 75. There you go, Catherine. Now we're getting into the heavy stuff. 2020, we're going to skip ahead one year. So, most recent rookie class. This is Don Russ football. Whole lots of fat packs. Look at all that. Goodness. Big old biceps just knocking around this camera. They've been developing Detroit and Michigan since the first collapse in 2009, 2008.
Remember when they tore down all the houses and they started building urban urban farms? Yeah. Ever since, like, everything collapsed, they've just been... I remember looking at when I was... Getting my second degree, working on my second degree. I remember looking at houses. There was a site that specifically had houses listed in in Michigan, in in the Detroit area, and it was like eight thousand dollars for a massive house, obviously abandoned. I remember correctly it's typically just like veteran base then there's like a couple parallels Jalen Ragor rated rookie blue for the Eagles Chris Levin and then all rookies after that Montez Sweat, interception touchdown this weekend. That got me some points. I was appreciative of that. There you go. The rookies checkerboard Justin Herbert, Steven Savinsky. These are unnumbered, but very nice parallel there. Van Jefferson, rated rookie blue for the Rams. David Baker.
It is freezing in here, dude. I'm putting that heat on again. What? Come on. You got the AC on. I don't have the AC on at all. The AC was on. That wasn't me. Turn the AC off. Why did you put the heat on? Gross. Boo. Boo this man. Come on, let's find a Burrow or a Tua, maybe another Herbert. Cole Komet, rated rookie for the Bears. Kyle Duch. Teddy. Complaining about being cold. Yeah, he's wearing shorts. What a thing. I'm gonna buy him a blanket for Christmas. Blanket with my face on it. Jordan Love, rated rookie. Green Bay Packers, Johnny Ho. What draft is? Oh, 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 oh. Bowman draft got moved to the ninth. Is that a 24 hour of breaking day? Bowman draft? Who are you chasing, Rex, this year? Or just your team? DeAndre Swift, rated rookie blue. That's for the Lions. Matt Buckler and Canvas. Chase Claypool, Pittsburgh Steelers. Richard Cromwell. No, no, uh, he's talking about Bowman draft, Matt. Cubs, Ed Howard. Nice, nice call. Your Illinois boy who's staying home. That was Don Russ. Let's get to the absolute. I wonder, can we can pull kabooms out of absolute retail, right? The, the fat packs, I'm thinking. Brennan Davis, Rex. That dude's gonna blow up on the scene and people are gonna be like, where'd he come from? The thing is, he's already a big prospect, just never gets talked about. Like, doesn't get talked about at all, actually, which is surprising.
But if they deconstruct the team, I hope they deconstruct the team just on top. And, like, just... Just bring in, like, one or two key people and then just start bringing up the farm. your favorites too? Yeah. Have you guys seen all the memes about when uh, when it was rumored that the, that the Dodgers were interested in, interested in Nolan Arenado? <laughs> it was like it's like now everybody's looking at Colorado just like you better not you better not cool 2020 absolute Tua, introductions, Miami Dolphins, Steven Villa, there you go, Steven, Justin Herbert, going to the Chargers, Steven Savinsky, Tom Brady, Tampa, Karen, Patrick Mahomes for the Chiefs, and Mark Nation. DeAndre Hopkins to 149 for the Arizona Cardinals. Mitchell Emerson. Tua. Dolphins again. Uh, Steven Villa. There you go, Steven. Second Tua in the box. Clyde Edwards E. Lair, Kansas City, Mark Nation. Not that I've seen so far, Oliver. But I mean, we still got Mosaic coming up too, so, and we've got another Don uh, Don Russ Elite box too, plus the Zenith. This catch he made last week was it last week? The week before? Not on Thanksgiving, but the week before. Incredible. 
Might be a catch of the year. One of the best of the year. Jordan Love, Green Bay Packers, Johnny Ho. Justin Jefferson, Minnesota Vikings, Kurt Burns, Joe Burrow, first Burrow sighting, Bengals, Adam Kupperman, Chase Claypool, right after that, for the Steelers, Richard Cromwell, Jalen Hurts, Eagles, Chris Levin, C.D. Lamb, Oliver. Justin Jefferson, Minnesota Vikings, Kurt Burns, and Darrell Taylor finishes it off for us. Now let's do that, Rex. Let's do that. I read that the Angels are um, trying to make a play on a uh, pitcher that they're looking at apparently being posted out of Japan. He's going to come over. He's going to tear it apart. Resurgence of Shohei Otani. Mmm. LA is going to get a real baseball team for once. It's going to be exciting. Now we're on to 2020 Mosaic Football Cello Packs. We got 12 of these. So we got 12 pink camo. Uh, honestly, I think they need to make him just strictly a hitter. But the reason he chose us over all the rest of the teams that were interested in him at the time is because we told him we would give him the option of doing both, which is what he wanted. So I don't think we're going to go against that. I think if, if he was strictly a batter, though, my God. He, uh, I think he could probably hit, like, 340 with power. It's 100%. But, I mean... 
it's not like him doing one really good compared to not doing either one of them is the difference between us competing and not at this point, so. Well, if anybody's going to tell him that, it's going to be his, uh, his translator, I Ipe. Shout out to Ipe. But... I mean, you can say that, Joe, but at the same point, sometimes you take the best player there is and you put them into a role player, right? No, Pools is still there. We got, I think we still get one more year out of him. Unfortunately, I mean, it kind of sucks, too, because these last years, even though we're paying him, if we would have had, if we would have had, like, the regular season, he probably would have gotten the 700 home runs if we would have had a full season last year and this year it would have been only what like the third player ever to get the 700 still obviously an incredible total I think he'll, I think he'll still end up in fourth all time in home runs I, that's what I said, Oliver. I didn't say I. I didn't dis discount bonds, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. We still we still have one more year with him, but I don't think with the rest of his contract and with the lost time that he'll be able to reach the 700. Sitting at 664 ish, something like that. Yeah, something in, uh, something in the 660 range right now, Oliver. Um, that's what I, honestly, Joe, I would totally be okay with them giving him a, a, a one year to reach 700. But honestly, Joe. I could see him. Uh, I could see him resigning one year with the, with the Cardinals. I know that the Angels gave him a ton and signed him for, you know, post post career, like consulting and stuff like that. But let's be honest. Yeah. Well, that's based on his normal contract right now, Matt. But if he if he ends up signing a one another one year contract, he could easily get twenty home runs in a year. If you don't have that guy playing the field at all, and all you're doing is having him practice his hitting, he easily could hit 700. Easily. You're telling me two years at 20 home runs a year if he has a full season? Two full seasons? Old school, Silver Mosaic, Brett Favre. Jalen Hurts, NFL debut for the Eagles. Chris Levin. Brett Favre Green for the Packers. Jeff Saturday Silver for the Colts. Tyler Eifert Silver Mosaic for the Bengals. Cam Akers going to the Rams. 
Lane Johnson, who uh, I believe is done for the season, said his ankle fell apart. Philadelphia Eagles. I think those were his exact words. Chris Levin. Brian Erlocker, green for the Bears. A.J. Dillon going to the Packers. Um, Chris for the Eagles. That Jalen Hurts NFL debut, I just noticed at a different angle. Just a heads up. Want you to see this. Let's see the two little imprints right there. Like full on thumbnails. I've seen that before where unfortunately it doesn't even show through the back of the card. It's just the front of the card. I don't know why, but just a heads up. Tom Brady, touchdown masters, Buccaneers, Karen Steele. Chase Claypool, Silver Mosaic, Pittsburgh Steelers. That is Richard Cromwell. Justin Jefferson Green, Minnesota Vikings, Kurt Burns. Oh, hello there. Joe Burrow, NFL debut, Silver. Cincinnati Bengals, Adam Kupperman. There you go. Yeah, I mean, honestly, if he would have had, let's say he would have had 20 again last year, right? So he's at 62 right now. With, with an extra 17 last year, or because he had three, he would be at, he'd be at, uh, at, 679 right now so another 20 next year would have put him at 699 you don't think that he would have a push for at bats or whatever to get to 700 Come on. that's crazy that's crazy talk Joe Burrow. Another one for the Bengals, Adam Kupperman. Yeah, I know, I know, Joe, but I'm saying last year he had three home runs in the shortened season, and he was averaging 23, 19, 23 right around there. So a full season last year probably would have gotten to 20. Ooh. Justin Herbert Green. Base green for the Chargers, Steven Savinsky. There you go, Steven. Jordan Love, Green Bay Packers, Johnny Ho. Justin Jefferson, NFL debut. Vikings, Kurt Burns. Patrick Mahomes, MVPs for the Chiefs. Mark Nation. I think 38 in one year for Pools is very un unrealistic. But, I mean, could he have an outburst of 26, 28? Yeah. Especially if he was strictly playing DH. No, 38 in one year is no. God, no. I think his cap would be mid to high 20s. If he hit 38 home runs next year, there'd be teams knocking down his door to get him to play the, the next year after for them. You know what I mean? 38 home runs in a year? Come on. 
He'd have he'd have his pick of teams that he'd play for the next year. Jordan Love, NFL debut, pink. Going to the Packers, Johnny Ho. Denzel Mims for the Jets, Adam Kupperman. Henry Ruggs, NFL debut for the Raiders, Asa Luke. Lynn Bowden Jr. for the Raiders, Asa Luke. Lamar Jackson, Pro Bowl, Ravens, Ryan Cimarell. No, I don't want him to go to Colorado, Matt. Stop it. Chase Claypool, another good one for the Steelers there. Richard Cromwell. Brian Edwards, Raiders, Asa Luke. LaMichael P. Ryan for the Jets. Adam Kupperman. Joshua Kelly for the Chargers. Steven Savinsky. And there you go. Those are our pink camos. No, Oliver. You still got two more chances. One of them a really good one. Zenith, too. Let's find him in there for you, man. He cares, Joe. He cares. But I think he needs to get... He, he, he doesn't need to get to 700, but his he's kind of gone down so much from playing with the Angels. Like, his career batting average has dipped under 300, which it was so far above that before. He'll get, he wants the benchmark. Yeah. The guy really does care. I mean, his mentality is family and God first, and then everything else second. So, he's a certified Hall of Famer. But, like... You should have seen his celebration when he hit 600. Like, that was a monumental celebration for him, you know what I mean? And, like, the, the fanfare that the Angels put a, put around that with, like, the big sign in center field that was counting down the, the, the home runs and everything, it was pretty cool. But he's just such a good guy, you know? No, Angels give him a contract. Even if, if he wants one to come back and get 600, Angels give him a contract. Vaughn Miller to 49. Denver Broncos, Adam Kupperman. Patrick Mahomes, Kansas City Chiefs, Mark Nation. Julian Edelman to 399 for the Patriots. Karen Steele. Christian Fulton to 399. Tennessee Titans, Marcus Young. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the Angels cashed in on that chase to 600. You don't think that they'll take everything to do it again? And like I said, I mean, the Angels gave him, it was a 10-year contract, plus 10 years of consulting afterwards. So he's got a contract with the Angels after his playing career ends to, to work in the front office with us. So I'm pretty sure they won't sour the relationship with him. And if he wants to come back and play another year and he's short of the 700 and he wants to get it, I'm sure that they'll, uh, they'll give it to him. This is Zenith. This is my first look at it. I've seen seen it online. Looks really good. 
Jerry Judy, Denver Broncos, Adam Kupperman. How cool those look. Ricky Williams for the Dolphins. Steve Villa. It literally is so warm in here right now. I have like air beating down on me. Jalen Rager, 44 out of 99, artist proof, rookie. For the Eagles, Chris Levin. Triple Relic, Team Summit. Russell Wilson, DK Metcalf, and uh, who is that? Oh, Tyler Lockett. 16 out of 50. Going to the Seahawks, Catherine Tusher. It's it's crazy, Joe. It's literally, I'm like, what is going on? Rookie dual patch auto Devin Devernay. 15 out of 50. Baltimore Ravens, Ryan Cimarell. says 71. <laughs> Keyshawn Vaughn. Dual Relic Auto. 29 out of 50. These are really good looking. Yeah. 71, Joe. Just remember the vents right there. So all the hot air is coming right down on top. Uh, Tampa Bay, that is Karen Steele. Uh, that Devin Devernay goes to the Ravens, Ryan Cimarron. So that's Zenith. Now, we get to the fun stuff. Let's go helmets. That's draft picks. This is regular. So let's go this. And then we'll do the helmets and then the jersey. And then our recap. Uh, Joe, I told you I, I'm going to get him a blanket with my face on it for Christmas. Are we going to play Guess Who Am I? Are we going to play Joe's favorite game? Let's do it. Yeah, uh, he bought all the land. And uh, he just uh, he just dedicated three hundred and fifty million dollars to the development. So as cheap as Artie Moreno is, he's putting money into it because now it's his. So. So, I am let me see a first round pick who has played for one team my entire career. I was a academic All-American in 2017 Rose Bowl MVP in 2020 I currently have a passer rating of 104.7, 22 touchdowns to 6 interceptions, 2,699 passing yards, a 68% completion percentage, 187 rushing yards, 3 rushing touchdowns. I am on pace to crush the rookie quarterback passing record of 30 or 27 touchdowns in a year my rookie year I'm currently on pace for 37 this year I'm going to crush the uh, yardage record I was the sixth round the sixth overall draft pick 
I am Justin Herbert. He, no, he's on pace for well over 3,700 yards. He's on pace for 4,400 4, last I saw. He's on pace for 37 touchdowns. Oh, yeah. It's Justin Herbert. Herbie fully loaded. He's on pace for 37 touchdowns, fo almost 4,500 yards passing. And his, like, his quarterback percentages, I think, is on pace to break the all-time rookie record also. Nice. Uh, that is Steven Savinsky, the Los Angeles Chargers. There you go, Steven. Bolt Bro Mojo. This one has the ID sticker on it. I am a seven-time Pro Bowl selection, six-time All-Pro selection, member of the 1990s All-Decade team. I am part of this team's all-time team, the one that's on here. My jersey number is no longer used by this team. I played football at the University of Kentucky, and I was part. I was inducted into the my this state's Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2011. I was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2012. I had an appearance in Super Bowl 30. was a center for this team. I didn't almost say Miami because it's not even part of the Miami. Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah. Number 63, Dermonte Dawson. Yeah, there you go. Oliver got it. Nice autograph there. D. Dawson. Good old number 63. Pittsburgh Steelers, Richard Cromwell. Jersey. Our last chance of who am I for now until we do the other football mixer. I played for one time my entire career. I was a five-time All-Pro selection, 10-time Pro Bowl selection, 1970 Pro Bowl co-MVP, two-time Super Bowl champion. I'm in this team's ring of honor, inducted in 1981. 
Uh, I played for the University of Oregon in college. College Football Hall of Fame, 1986. Pro Football Hall of Fame, 1996. I was a cornerback. I had 52 interceptions, 626 interception yards, and three touchdowns. Consensus All-American, 1962. Second Team All-American, 1963. NFL Interceptions Leader in 1969. Played in Super Bowls six and twelve, which I won. I'm a Dallas Cowboy. I was the I was a second round pick, seventeenth overall in nineteen sixty four the NFL draft, and I was a tenth round pick, seventy ninth overall in the AFL draft. I'm Oliver's like, okay, cool. Cowboy, it's going to me. I'm Mel Renfro. Part of the Cowboys Ring of Honor. 1996 Hall of Famer. He's out of there. There you go. That's going to the Cowboys and Oliver Soria. Cool. Now let's leave that out. We'll do our recap. Which is right now. Cool. So the recap, we had some very nice stuff, guys including lots of nice rookies, including this highlighted by this Joe Burrow Silver NFL debut from Mosaic, obviously for the Bengals. Here are some relics. Josh Jacobs, Tyreek Hill, uh, David Montgomery, DeAndre Hopkins, and triple relic for the Seattle Seahawks. Our autos, Darnell Savage Jr., Jalen Ferguson, Paris Campbell, Darnell Savage Jr., Jelani Tavai, Greedy Williams, and Lane Johnson. Patch autos, Riley Ridley, Nick Bosa, Devin Devernay, Keyshawn Vaughn. And our memorabilia, Nice Justin Herbert helmet, mini helmet auto. Good old Herbie there. We had a Dermonte Dawson Hall of Fame mini helmet auto for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And our jersey was Mel Renfro for the Dallas Cowboys. Auto there. Nice Hall of Fame inscription there as well. And that was our break. That was Jaspie's 12 box weekend football mixer. Pick your team from jaspiescasebreaks.com. I'm Sean. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next time.